everyone, my name is Mary Grace Witten and I am a summer law intern at the Disability Law Center of Virginia. While these past few months and weeks have left our country in uncertain times, DLCV wants to make sure that everyone is fully informed on the Virginian voting process for this month's upcoming primary election. If you are not aware, Virginia has postponed its primary election from June 9th to Tuesday, June the 23rd. Due to coronavirus, voting in person at a polling location is not the safest or most accessible means for most people. Voting absentee is a great way to still have your voice heard in the election without having to compromise your health and safety. In Virginia, absentee ballots can typically only be used if there's a valid reason for doing so. A full list can be found on the department website and on the application, but every application that lists 2A, my disability or illness, will be accepted if otherwise validly completed. Even if you are able to vote in person, all Virginians will be permitted to vote absentee in June by selecting this option. So here's how an absentee ballot works. First, you must request an absentee ballot either online, in person, or by mail or fax. Online, the application is available on the Virginia Department of Elections website, and the link should be in the description section below. Once you apply, there is a portal where you can check to make sure your application was received by the department. These online applications must be received by 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the Tuesday before the primary. This means online applications are due by 5 p.m. on June the 16th. To request an absentee ballot in person, you should first make sure you are registered to vote and then go to your local registrar's office to fill out an application before 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on June 20th. You will need an acceptable form of ID and you will be able to vote using an in-person machine or by curbside at the registrar's office. Acceptable forms of ID can be found at www.elections.virginia.gov. To apply by mail or fax, an application can be downloaded from that same Virginia Department of Elections website linked below and the form must be received by the Registrar's Office by 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time the Tuesday before the primary, which is June the 16th. So once again, both online and by mail or fax absentee applications must be received by June 16th and in-person applications must be completed by June the 20th. If you complete the application online or by mail or fax, you will receive your absentee ballot by mail. The witness requirement has been waived for those who believe they cannot safely have a witness present while completing the absentee ballot, so this portion of the ballot can be disregarded for those who fall into this category. The Department of Elections has ensured us that they are working on ways to send absentee ballots electronically to blind individuals so that accessibility software can be used to mark the ballots. Otherwise, state law requires that voters return completed absentee ballots to the local registrar by mail or in person by 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you do choose to vote in person, the department is taking extra precaution in ensuring the process is safe for everyone involved. Polling places will offer curbside voting but are not able to provide audio ballots curbside. Therefore, if you do need an audio ballot, these will be available during the absentee voting period at your local registrar's office. The absentee voting period begins 45 days prior to June the 23rd. For further information on voting rights, please visit our website at www.dlcv.org backslash voting hyphen rights. If you have specific questions regarding your ballot, please contact the Virginia Department of Elections toll free at 800-552-9745 or by email at info at elections.virginia.gov. Please contact us if you run into any problems voting at 800-552-3962. We are thinking of you all at DLCV and we hope you stay healthy and safe in the upcoming months.